historically speaking, Oak Park niggas have always been different, bro. Not even just for the fact that they beefed and funk with every neighborhood in Sacramento outside of two, the Matters and Lincoln Village, at least for now, but also because when you go to Oak Park, even within the neighborhood, you have beef between the cliques there. Like the 33rd niggas used to not fuck with niggas from 4th, from 4th, 5 niggas will fuck with niggas from 12th. Now, I've been noticing it's changing as of late. Thank God for the younger generation changing as of late, but that used to be a big thing. Ironic and truth be told, you always have beef in Oak Park between you always Oak Park has always been like a neighborhood of different cliques. Like in fact, before it was Bloods, a lot of people don't know this. Oak Park used to be Funk Lords. Funk Lords was a clique of dudes that wore blue rags. They weren't crisp, but they happened to wear blue rags. That changed in the early 80s when it was a young man who shall remain nameless, even though he has written a book about this, who came from Pomona, a city in LA. He banged four or five, six island pyrus and brought the knowledge from Northside Pomona to Oak Park. Out of the Yo Oak Park Young Young Bloods and um, at Fourth Avenue Park in the early eighties. Now, the interesting thing I always noted, that always fascinated me, is when you go to Four Five Six Island Pirates, like when you go to their neighborhood, the same fuck the whole city. We the only fuck everybody else except us. They have that same mentality in Pomona because they're the only blood set in that city, so they don't fuck with nobody. It's kind of the same thing in in, in, uh, in Oak Park. It's called the Murder Miz or the Murder Miz. They don't fuck with nobody. It's the same situation. So it's interesting to see how in the bloodline, I guess, the gang, they pass down that genetic trait. Like, it's fascinating.